Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back. Today, I am sharing with you one of the most underrated, most slept on cars, not just in Assetto Corsa Competizione, but in sim racing as a whole, and I, I guess I can kind of see why, because one, it's DLC, two, it's also a single make car, like it's a single make series, so it's not as broad like GT3 or anything like that. Uh, but in my opinion, it is such a fun car, and I wanted to showcase it here on the channel. And the car I'm talking about is this, the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo 2. I didn't really see anyone talk about this thing, to be 100% honest. People covered, you know, the new Ferrari Challenge car, the Audi Evo 2, the Audi R8 Evo 2. Uh, but no one really talked about this thing, and it's kind of sad because it is such a cool, cool car. Not to mention it looks absolutely stunning. So we're going to be taking it in a 10-minute race around Donington Park. Of course, it's a single-make car, so it will be racing itself, racing other Huracan Super Trofeos. But it should be a ton of fun. So yeah, let's just hop right into this. Alrighty, ladies and gents, here we are. 10 minute race starting at P17, grid full of super trofeos. Let's just get right into this. TC2, ABS3, I think actually 3 3 is usually where I like this car. As you can also see, there's no tire blankets, no tire warm up. So for the first lap, <laughs> you are on ice cubes in this car, let me tell you. And here we go, coming to the green flag, punch the power, come on, come on, all right, green flag, almost went into the back of that pinky red super trofeo, that's nice, let's try to negotiate our way into turn one, oh, we barely got through there, by the skin of our teeth, cold tires as well, <laughs> you're gonna be seeing a ton of counter steering, well that's what makes this car so fun, but I'll get into that in a second, for now I kind of just want to survive lap one you know that's kind of the the name of the game here all right through the really fast chicane here on the brakes through there nice little bump on the apex but looking good maybe we can set up a move all right beautiful send all right that's a double send <laughs> that's a send from very far back but i'll take it make the move stick man the lamborghini Huracan V10 sounds so, so good. Sounds good in the road car, and it sounds amazing in this as well. Oh, no. Okay. Yup. That's not the line. All right. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, so why I love this car. It feels like a more lively GT3. And that has always been my complaint with GT3s, is that they just... They don't feel alive. They're they're too easy to drive. They're more about racing lines, which I mean is fun to, you know, perfect a racing line, but I love having to manage my throttle more and having to constantly counter steer. It's why I've recently really found like classic cars, classic formula cars so much fun because your steering wheel is never still for long and it is so much fun but this thing just feels like a more lively gt3 car it's got more power a little bit less aero it just is super fun to drive and especially in like a race like this just full of super trofeos it is an absolute joy to throw around the track try to pull up onto the back of this guy let's not go off right here <laughs> The Super Trofeo is rocking 611 brake horsepower and 570 newton meters of torque. I sadly couldn't find the weight on the official like Lamborghini Super Trofeo website, uh, but I'd assume it's pretty similar to GT3 cars, so probably around the 1200 kilogram range, if I had to guess. If you have this DLC, again, I forgot which one it is. It's the uh, second most recent one, the one that came out before the USA DLC. I'll flash an image of it up on screen. If you have it, if you have this car, and you haven't given it a try yet, I highly encourage you to do so. This thing is an absolute blast. 
And I think this is really the beauty of a Seto Corsa Competizione. Yeah, GT3s are fun. Yeah, they're the most popular class in sim racing, maybe besides Formula One. But this is just what is really fun. Like, we don't have this car in any other racing sim. And it is just so, so cool. And it's unique as well because it almost feels like an older GT car. I just drove the uh, the GT1 cars and I've been driving the GT2 cars as well. Those ones are a lot harder to drive because they don't have TC or ABS, but this is kind of like that. It's maybe like a more modern refined version of the old GT cars from yesteryear and I love it so so much. But enough gushing over this car. Let's try to get a little bit more racing action here. Let's see if we can set up a move. Oh, that was a lunge. That was a close one. Oh, there we go. Make it stick. Beautiful. All right, now we're looking at this yellow car. It's like a pastel yellow. Let's see what we can do. Coming down the hill. It's not flat, and this is such a fun part of the track because you have to be so cautious. You have to really push the car to its limit. Same with this one as well. You got to do a little bit of a lift. As I learned earlier on oh, the plane flying overhead as well. That is so cool. One of the really cool, uh, unique little details of Donington here in ACC. All right. Through the chicane. Oh, almost went into the back of him. That was a, that was a rough breaking zone. <laughs> Come on. Let's try to get a good run out of here. Maybe build the power, build the revs. Uh, get a good launch down the straight on the power. There we go. This is what we need. Maybe a move. Oh, cheeky little send. Bob, oh, beautiful. Textbook. Oh, no. All right. Come on. All right. We're going to barely hold this. Oh, that. <laughs> if I did not have the radar, I would definitely not have done that. Some hard but fair racing going on here. You love to see it. The ACC AI. I mean, I still think the iRacing one is a little bit better, but... They are fun to race. They will race you as well. And I'm not even on the highest difficulty, so they're probably even more racy on like a hundred maxed out. All right, here we go. Final lap in the Super Trofeo. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get one more position. Top five. Come on. Nah, that's not going to be the way to do it, Jacob. Oh, that's not going to be the way to do it at all. God damn it. <laughs> maybe, maybe into the hairpin. Come on. We might- oh, no, all right, I think we're good. I think a lunge is on here. You know what? Fuck it. It's the last lap. Oh, oh, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. On the power? <laughs> oh, that's- that's called some lower- lower AI. If I was in a- if those were real people, I don't think I would have gotten away with that! No! I missed my damn breaking zone! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that was that was a Jacob Capello bottle, let me tell you. God dang it. <laughs> These things are an absolute ton of fun. I highly recommend you try them out. Don't bottle it in the final turn like I did. But, yeah, these things are so, so cool. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, a like and a sub would mean a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Drive these things now.